It's such a community-based event, and what a better way to come together with a group of people. We all get to take away something from it today. <laughs> this has blessed me more than I thought it would. Like, this is really what it's about, and there's more people like this than the other way, and we need to see it. Yeah. And this has just done so much for me, and I just I thank you. Today we just kind of came together as a community and showed our love. And in turn, really, what has happened is that we filled our hearts up. My kids and I moved recently, and we are so lucky to have a home to move into with every comfort in the world, and it still takes love to make a house into a home. And so it felt right to be passing that love on to another family. I think that it's really important that we practice kindness and gratitude and I don't even look at it as giving back. I think it's an energy and a spirit that we all need to possess every day in our lives. And I think particularly people who have faced pain in their life and trauma want to make sure to give them hope, to realize that they have the strength to get through anything. What's needed more than love and gratitude and a sense of community? And everyone, regardless of your background, deserves a home and no one on earth is more deserving than A, a mother, and B, somebody who hasn't been embraced by a loving family that every child deserves to have. Home is not just a roof over your head. Home is an energy, it's an environment, and things like artwork and a kitchen table so you can have guests over, things like that are what help create that you know energetic field for you to feel safe. Um, and it isn't until we feel safe that we're able to create and really start the next chapter of our lives. We're here days before Christmas, and this is a time where people, I think many of us take for granted that family time, that time to reconnect with the people who, who are our haven, our sense of belonging. Bianca doesn't have that bedrock sense of belonging, and so I'm hoping that, you know, as we go into the holidays, this young woman knows that there are people out there for her who care, who are willing to give of their time of themselves because she matters. Um, and hopefully, even though it's not a family of origin or a birth family, it's very much a family of fellow humans who want to come together and fill that home and fill this young woman with warmth and a sense of belonging and with love. I think this pandemic has hopefully taught us a lot and changed the world we live. And I think hopefully when we go back to normal, uh, hopefully soon, it will probably be a new normal. And I think if anything this pandemic did by forcing us to stay home, I think it redefined the concept of home and what home means. It, it just makes me feel great to know that there's people still out there that want to help, that do care, and they have a heart, they have a soul. To actually feel like you have a home is the biggest part because you feel like you have a spot, but you still are not comfortable or have what you have, what you need to feel like it's a home. This is a new experience for me, um, a new home, and I've never experienced people coming together and helping me for my children and giving us a place to call home. I don't have to worry no more. My kids are so good. Like, I'm just grateful. I just had to, like, I never had my own so. Just walking in here, just saying everything, just like a home up in here. Just brought me to tears. It's going to help me get up for work every day. I haven't had a good night's sleep in a year. It's going to help me work, and that's going to help me be a better mother, and that's going to help me be a better person. I can be able to be the woman I, I want to be. I want to be able to go to school. I want to be able to go to work. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to be with my daughter. I want to be able to be just this super woman. And if I have a home, I can be whatever I want. I just feel really loved, and I feel the love everywhere. This is really a home. like. You don't get home a lot when you're a foster youth. You, you know, sometimes you bounce from house to house to house to house. Sometimes being a foster child, you feel alone and you're out in the world by yourself. So to actually have people come and do that for you and help you out, be there in your corner, let you know you're not alone is the most amazing feeling. To have all these people who are just coming to do this, to just from love and empathy and that's what it's all about. That's 
the true nature of the, the being of ourselves is to be show love and operate in love and be empathetic beings. I just could never thank anybody enough for what they've done for me and my son today. People's kindness and everything that just goes into the home creation, I could not have ever imagined that so many people could come out to be so loving and so kind and so generous to help somebody. It means the world because this pandemic is not easy on anybody. This home creation pulled people out of their safe zone so they could help somebody be in their own safe zone. that I've always wanted as a child, I get to give to him now, honestly, for the rest of his life, because this is the foundation for him.